there's my wind up flashlight for emergencies. That's my NPC player, my card reader, and my thumb drives or flash drives. And this space here in the middle is for whatever book I'm reading at the time. I'll just slip it out of the nightstand while I'm over here sleeping and I can read it. I've been sitting here for about um, 30 minutes, maybe about an hour, looking at audiobooks, Star Wars audiobooks. I was introduced to them a year ago? Yes, a year ago. I don't own any, though. I've listened to quite a few on YouTube because I don't own any. And I'm really interested in getting some. I love to read, don't get me wrong. But I just don't have time to read anymore. I mean, my life is so busy and I communicate to my friends through the internet. So that takes up all my spare time because I always want to talk to my friends. Friends are more important than books. That's how I see it. But I do love to read. I do, I do love to get caught up in a story that makes me feel passionate about something. And I really want to see the end of the, you know, the end of the story, you know, what happens, the conclusion. I have recently gotten caught up in the Fate of the Jedi series. It is the series that takes place the farthest away from any other Star Wars novels or any other Star Wars media there, except for some comics that take place way after that. But it is the most recent Star Wars book series. It just finished. It just ended, I guess. And I got the second book in the series maybe two years ago, I can't remember. I found it in the bookstores up at the front when it first came out. Like, literally first came out. I was like, well, that's a very interesting cover to a Star Wars book. Very interesting. So I bought it. And then later on, I got the second book. Because I thought the one that I got was the first. Turns out, it was actually the second book in the series. And the, the next book I got was actually the third book in the series. I don't have the first one. But I'm listening to the first one on YouTube every night for the past three nights I've been doing this. I love it. I love listening to audiobooks. Really good ones are like little miniature movies except for you're not watching them. You're listening to them and watching it like in your mind's eye. Only someone that listens to audiobooks would actually know what I'm talking about. I actually like the audiobook experience a bit better than reading because, you know, there's sound effects and music and stuff, and the really good ones, the really, really, really good ones are like movies. The ones that are not really good, honestly, are worse than actually sitting in a room and reading it. At least if I'm sitting in a room and reading it, I can read out loud the voices and I can, you know, change my voice to match the characters and add sound effects in my mind. But some really bad audiobooks. And there are, are a few Star Wars ones read by a certain man who just can't get any of the characters right. And he sounds like he's talking in his normal voice when he's trying to play the characters. It's horrible. But there are two guys that read a number of them. And they are very, very good in their voice acting. Very, very good. And they have a lot more sound effects and music in them. My bedroom is really, really beautiful. See? Look at that. There's my bookshelf next to the bed. Very, very convenient. And there's my bed. There's my nightstand and my dresser. I know beautiful seems kind of like a strange word to describe a bedroom. But it's true. That's how I see it. It's amazing. It's... When I see it, I go... <sighs> um, to me, the, that's what I describe beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. 
when I say something's beautiful, that means for me that it makes me go. <sighs> so, the thing about the English language is that I'll just t turn that off. The English language is evolving language. It changes, and different words have different meanings for different people. So, it's kind of hard to write in the English language because you have to use different words correctly. Like, certain people will think of a certain thing when they read a certain word, so you don't want them to get to give them the wrong image, the wrong picture. I know, definitely with me, certain words trigger memories and just negative uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Negative m meanings to those words? Like, so, something that the dictionary says about a word might not be what I feel like it means. Like, Oh, I had an example while ago. It was a really good example. I think it was like, oh, aid and help. To me, they aren't synonyms. Help is more, oh, I'll help you. you know, it's more casual. Aid is more, not necessarily formal, but more a bigger thing in mind. Like, hey, I'll, I'll come to your aid. It's a really big thing. Help is just, oh, you know, you, you dropped a pencil. I'll help you, pick, you know, I'll pick it up for you. I'll help you. The aid is like, you know, these troops are scattered on some planet. I'll come to their aid. You know, I'll aid them in getting off the planet. To me, it's a big thing. Aid is big and help is small. Well, guys, it's time to pick my bed of heart <laughs> and get ready to go to sleep. Tomorrow is voting day, so that's rather exciting actually. Um, a lot of people that I know won't be voting at all and if I don't know why they like won't be voting, like not going at all like that. Um, we don't have a right to vote. It's a duty. We have a duty to vote. It's our duty to do it. But yet, God does have control of everything. He gave us the precedent that we have now because we, he, we needed to learn something and the only way we, we can learn that thing was to experience what it was like to live a certain way. I'm trying not to offend anyone. And tomorrow I also have a part day, part day, um, half days kind of, of classes because I have a little lessons at 2.30? Yes, I think 2.30. I have my violin lessons that I go to. Um, so tomorrow's more of a relaxing day. Today was really stressful with all the stuff I had to do and something else I'm kind of forced to do. It really makes me tired. I mean, more than tired, exhausted. Completely exhausted, mentally and physically. <sighs> But, yeah, um, the more you force someone to do something, the more they're not going to want to do it. Because it's not fun. It's not entertaining when you're being forced to do it. Kind of a hint at what I'm going through at the moment. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys before I put you guys to bed. Because I'm not going to bed yet. I'm going, well, I'm in bed, but I'm not going to bed. As in, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to listen to an audiobook on YouTube. 
I'm going to tweet a bit. Um, it's probably six o'clock right now in California. Five o'clock. No, seven o'clock in Colorado. It's eight. No. Yeah, six in California. Seven in Colorado. Colorado, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's eight here. I used to go to bed at eight o'clock every single night. I can't anymore. Of course, I'm nocturnal. I get up so early in the morning for classes. I end up falling asleep somewhere around nine o'clock, nine thirty. And I didn't used to do that. I used to <laughs> not go to sleep until like 11 o'clock. Like fall asleep until 11. Or sometimes even 12 on the weekends. Like I've been wanting to watch a movie recently as well. So I might do that not tomorrow night. Because Wednesday is a busy, busy day. Probably Friday night. Which I'll probably stay up until 3 again. I think I did that last Friday. And I'll watch a movie then. Um, I think that's all I need to tell you guys. So I'm going to put you guys to bed now. This drawer is now your guys' permanent resting place for the night. You guys will be going to sleep here by me every single night. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.